That's the um, scientific principle that uh, makes animation and the motion picture camera possible. So basically what happens is a, an image, uh, your brain retains images for a fraction of a second after they've, uh, after they've entered your uh, brain through your eyes. And, uh, you know, you can see this when, you know, say you see a bright light and the image of that bright light is, you know, retained in your uh, visual cortex or whatever for, for a fraction of a second after, and you see those kind of spots. Um, there's a toy, like, uh, from the 1800s, which uh, demonstrates this principle called a thaumatrope, which basically what it has, on one side it has, like, a little bird, on the other side here's a cage. When we wind up this little disc, and then spin it back as you can see the images of the bird and the cage combine well that's because your brain is retaining you know that image of each of those uh, things for a fraction of a second now in the motion picture camera you get a series of frames which are sequential and slightly different from each other and that's what gives you the uh, illusion of motion. And of course, you know, as a child, you probably played with a flip book, you know, and were able to create your own little motion pictures. And that's the same principle happening because your brain is retaining those images for a fraction of a second. And with animation, you know, basically what we're doing is creating large flip books, which are then filmed by the motion picture camera. So, you know, we've got something to flip here. So anyway, that's really how uh, persistence of vision works and why we can do animation. Anyway, I hope that helps explain the concept.